Oh my god. Look at this. Are we ready? Are we ready? He used to have S13, but he sold it like a chump. All right, are you ready? You ready for your close up? Fuel Fest, Fuel Fest 2022. Larry Chen here, welcome to my channel. We're featuring two cars that are just so good. They're built right, they're beautiful. And you know, the crazy thing is with how many of these nice JDM cars that we see here at Fuel Fest or in Florida in general, you would think that these are just so common, but they're not actually that common mm -hmm. here, huh? There's a ton. I mean, they're Florida known for just, there's a lot of JDM cars here. I mean, you know, the roads are nice. We can drive them all year round. I think both of these have been built for three years now. We built these in our garage. Uh, me and Cody together. That thing's been running good. We drive everywhere, Orlando, Tampa, Daytona, you know, all, all over Florida. The S15 is yours. Yeah. This is like the quintessential clean S15 build. I don't really know how to put my finger on it, but this is honestly one of the cleanest S15s. Thank you. If not the Thank cleanest you. I've seen in the US. And it gets driven. You've actually had this for many years, correct? Yep, yeah. yeah, it was all OEM, spec R, had all the spec R error on it. I still have it at home. It's in my parents' house, actually. Um, this is all Vertex now, that's Vertex, everything. It's Vertex Lang, Defenders, the hood is Vertex, the trunk and the wing is Sabon. It's unbelievable to me that Sabon, they're local to me, and I run all of their stuff on my car. I run one on my 350Z, their hood. I run one on my 240Z, yeah. the hood on my Tundra, uh, the wing on my Supra. All Sabon stuff. For whatever reason, the fact that they make it for S15 yeah. that are yep. just not common in the US, nope. it's kind of amazing to me. I do have to point out, this is the craziest thing about your car. Your license plate. Florida license plate. S15. So it's so crazy. You got into this car so early mm -hmm. that nobody else even thought to get this nope. plate. I think S14 is taken by one of our, um, I think you feature her car, the red S14 from I think Orlando, Tampa area. Mm -hmm. Her name is Taylor and then she has S14. Um, I have 180SX on my 180. So, and S15, yeah, I'm holding on to this forever. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I'm not getting it. rid of it, yeah. This is the best plate too. Like yeah. this is the Florida Save Our Seas plate. Yep. Incredible. Sabon this, Sabon that. Tomei is exhaust. this? That's D-Max. Okay, D-Max, yep. Tomei exhaust. Looks amazing as always. Tell me about the paint. It's only in paint, um, WV2, it's the only in pure gray, that's the team color. It's got a little bit more metallic. Um, that's it, you know, this car's been wrapped a ton of times and then now, you know, we finally am kind of over that and want to bring it back original and, you know, that's it. We cannot feature this without overlooking what sucked onto your back glass here. Is that Sea Sucker? I don't know. I think it might be a Sea Sucker um, suction cup, but can you tell? our audience what this is. So these are made by our good friends, Taxi Garage, Ryan, Nick, Charlie. Um, they're a big group down here, um, but they make everything from custom wheels and casters to the motor, to this piece is all custom made by them. If you, go, if you come around. So this, cause this is a crazy car. Yep. Made by made Razor, by Razor yep. but it's extensively modified. They strip down the paint. Yep. They they redo so much. Like this is their own 3D printed yep. battery. Battery box. Yeah. Their battery controller. Their upgraded motor. And, and why is it sitting on here? It just we you know we like to have it for the show, and then we've been you know one of our buddies John actually had you know came up with figured out that the suction cup mount works, and now we're. Which is an easier way to transport them. Um, you know, not everybody has a truck. So Charlie and the gang came by my place recently and they shredded the absolute hell out of my parking lot. Mm -hmm. And it was just so much fun. I fell many times, but... Oh my God. It was a lot of fun. You guys, they have their own YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check out that video, make sure you go to their YouTube yep. channel. So uh, what year is this? 1999, real deal, Nissan, Spec R, S15. Um, you know, it's got all the carbon bit, all the carbon lower bits. I did Brembo's front and rear, those from an Evo. Oh, it, it, it's, yeah. it, it just like yeah. a direct bolt These are on Evo or? calipers, Evo rotors, and I have the TF Works um, brick adapter, caliper adapters. And everything else is bolted on. You don't need to do anything else. Buy the little, you know, I don't know how much it was, $150 adapter, and that's it. You fit their rotor. This is an Evo rotor, and that's, that's you know, Evo caliper. Tell me about the wheels. These are Nismo Elm GT4. These are the factory matte edition. Um, I think these were 2017, one of the years. I don't remember. Um, I've, I've looked for 
the gloss version for so long and I came across these and I didn't think I was going to like them as much and they've grown, you know, over the years they've grown so much on me and, you know, I love them now. I think it fits the yeah, theme of the Yeah, it's the whole, car. you know, Nissan. I've had, always had, you know, there's T's on my other cars and this car's had T's and a whole bunch of Rays, but, you know, just Nismo, just, in, just to keep it true. So, uh, in this uh, rear quarter, is this stock? It's pulled to the max. I mean, like it can't be pulled anymore. It can't be pulled anymore. You put the roller to it, and you're pushing it. Does, it won't even go anymore. So that fits a 275, 35, 18. You know, straight up and down. I think it's like a degree and a half. So it's almost factory camber, and you need it for you know, she's making a little bit of power, but it still struggles to put a little bit of power down. But what a beautiful build! Exactly. Incredible. So what happened to the SR that came with this? I've had it, I took it out, I've always had, you know, I've had an RV in my other car. I've been building this one for a while and then I've kept the motor, I pulled it out, I've kept it for my 180 to build it and then, you know, I ended up moving and this just didn't want it, you know. I wasn't ready to build it so one of my buddy Lewis actually bought it. But this is a um, RV25 Series 2, you know, all the go fast bits, you know, all the Juku manifolds, um, it's got ID like 1050X projectors. Precision 6266. Um, it's got the OCD works, built wheel mod. And I'm all with smart stuff. This is made by RK Titanium. And a whole bunch of, you know, little chasing bay bits. You know, they custom made this for me to little. Oh, this is so Yeah, body cover, I guess. It cleans it up so and much. They, they custom made me the igniter. Uh huh. And then igniter cover. It's so clean. Yeah, and have their oil cap. Yeah, just small stuff, you know, dress up boats everywhere. So did you have to paint the engine bay? Yeah, the bay, I think a lot of the S15s were gray. They were, you know, gray engine bays for whatever reason. But yeah, this was painted just black, just to kind of, I didn't really want the bay to be flashy. You know, want the motor, just the motor stuff to stand out. Because this was the original color of the car? Yeah, but it's all repainted, but it is the original color. Got it. Yeah. It's incredible how clean it is. Yeah, it's got the GK Tech, you know, tough brake lines. Turbo Smart Fuel Pressure Regulator. Yeah, we love it's got GK dog Tech. Race, you know, manifold. You it's just simple. threw yeah. all the premium It just stuff literally, on it. you know, it's on a wiring specialty pro, pro harness. Pro harness. Um, it's tuned by Martin RS Entropy. I'm pretty sure you've heard of him down here. He does all the like the the mail and tune orders and everything. So this car is still running on like a blow by setup. So it runs good. You know, he like 28 pounds. It makes like 600 and change. 600 and change. Yeah. Proven. It's been together for a long time. When we go for a rip, you know, you'll see this thing is he's healthy. Amazing. Um, can we take a look at the interior? Q yeah. skill seven point holding cage. He's got you know all the extra bars in the back. Huh. It smells like Japan in here. Yeah, there's a little tree frog air freshener. <laughs> That's the real deal. <laughs> got it, you know, custom little titanium little shift knob. Of course, got have the Nismo lighter, the yellow. Had that forever before the market went crazy on those and then it's pretty simple you know some AM gauges Nismo cluster so it's like a R33 transmission or this what is it it is this is from a R33 GTST series Got 2 it. so that's what the motor the whole motor sits from there five speed still and eventually I want to do maybe a CD009 but to keep the car true to the six speed but that's in town I mean she runs good I, I feel bad to take it down and you know, fix it for no reason. Tell me about the gauges. They look incredible. Yeah, these are the, you know, AEM X-Series gauges, Nismo cluster. Those have gone. I bought that when it was like 400 some dollars for a brand new Nismo gauge. Now, yeah. I think they're like a thousand something. They're just, the market, man, it's good for people to have it. Kind of sucks for people getting into it or have to pay so much, you know, to get in one of these. No kidding. That is so yep. good looking. I feel I've never seen this setup. I've yep. never seen the Nismo gauges on S15. Yeah, but I think it looks so. Yeah, cool. the factory gauges have like the white back lid, yeah. you know, cluster. It looks kind of cool, but you know, the Nismo is obviously superior. Fire so extinguisher cool. mount by Street Faction. You know, the option B spec R seats. They're blue suede. This is so nice. It yeah. really gives it that OEM Plus look. Mm -hmm. The blue. I've considered putting Ricardos in it, and maybe, but. I've you know I've gone back and forth and I still have these now. But they're so they look so good they're nice. and they fit. Yeah, they fit. I mean they're they're comfortable. They're like a glorify S14, you know, seat. I love it. It's very clean and it's kind of easy to overlook that fact, right? Because yeah. I'm sure there's so many S15 builds out there that things are 
plastic is cracking, things are falling. Oh, and the apart, dash is whatever. mint. I just have this, you know, the dash under here is mint. Um, there's AC in this car. I just don't have the, the lines in right now, but it's, it's set up for AC and everything. Park next to it is another S chassis, S13. Um, sh should I talk to? Yeah, you, you want to talk to him? Yeah. yeah Cody. So, uh, what is this? What's tw is this twinning or what? What's going on, Tyler? I'm sorry. What's going on? Uh, we're in Florida. Yeah, I know, but. So I, I I wanted to feature this, but you're like no, oh, no, oh, you, you I, have I, to feature both cars. Because yeah, this is this I mean, is essentially your dream car. Yeah, yeah, this car is great. This car is also great. I'm happy to be here, and I got to drive both of them today. Uh huh. Like, For like ten feet. Ten feet. Yeah. yeah but great. you still got I, to drive it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That car is amazing, but this car is the dream car. Okay. My dream. Cody, sorry for peeling you away to talk about your S13, but this is Tyler's dream car. And I, I love S13s too, I've had a couple of them, but this one's special, this one's actually right-hand drive. Yeah. So did you import this? My friend over at Nostalgic imported it for me. Jay imported this car. It was originally his car, and then he sold it to me. Did you build this after this S15, or? Me and Ping have been friends since I was 14. So, watching Ping, Ping you know, these cars influence me a lot to get an S chassis and actually build one for myself. This is like a, it's almost like a period build, right? It, it, it's like a snapshot in time of what the best, all the best parts for this era. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, it's got the aero front, aero side skirts, bonex rear, bonex lip, blitz 03s. Yeah, they're so pretty, and they look brand new. Yeah. Did you guys just get them refinished? Or? Just got them refinished. They they're actually rebuilt by Nifty in Cal in California. Mm. Did a fantastic job. Oh my god. SR things. SR. It's, it's so clean, just like the S15. Um, you painted the engine bay black. What was the original color? Of the this? engine bay is actually oh, it's not. It's... Mystic Chrome. Oh. So it changes colors. I was trying to get the midnight purple, but nobody could match it down here. So it's actually a color from Ford, believe it or not, from the old Cobras. And one of my friends had the VIN off of it and was able to get me the color from Ford. So it changes colors in the light. Yeah, I see that. So you have a little bit of that kind of all over, all right? Over. You have it um, on of this drip rail. Yep. And on the mirrors as well. Oh, it's kind of a really cool subtle touch yeah, that you've done for this. So tell me about the motor. So it's a fully built SR. Um, it's got forged bottom end, uh, Supertech pistons, rods, uh, BC full, uh, Brian Carter full head. It's got 264 cams, all the retainers. Make sure to get rocker arm stoppers because you know SRs are de definitely tend to throw rocker arms. Um, it's all the ISR intake manifold. ISR fuel rail, IDC 1050X injectors, um, Garrett GT 2871R. It is tuned by uh, Martin at RS Empathies. It's on a Hall Tech. Um, that's pretty much it. That's so much yeah. stuff. It's got I can't lot. believe you know all this oh, stuff yeah. right off the top, top of your head. Oh, yeah. This is your baby. My baby, yeah. You love this car. Love it. Love so, it to death. Did you have a chance to dyno this? Yes. It made uh, 430 wheel. That's really wheel. healthy. Try, yeah, try to keep the torque a little bit low because the five speed is a little bit. <laughs> they don't want to push it too far. Interior, it has um, ROM seats, um, really tall. I had rides in here, but definitely wasn't able to fit them after a while with the rides. It's got Vertex steering wheel, uh, stock up that, a couple gauges, AEM, uh, HKS turbo timer. What a clean build. I love it so much. It really is something else. Do you, when you're driving this around the Florida streets, like do people yell at you and they, they stop you because they... Um, I've had a couple people. I've actually had a cop pull me over just to ask me questions about it because he actually had an S chassis that was, he was building and he was asking me where I got some of the parts off of mine and stuff. So it was, it was really cool. Like I was scared at first. I was like, oh no, what did I do? But for him to pull me over and actually like, care about the car and ask questions. I thought it was really cool. But no, yeah, no, it was so cool. But no, people don't really bother me down here with it. They're actually more like, like you said, stoked to see the actual car driving around and in the condition that it's in. So that was that's the best part about it, living in South Florida. And people don't really care. <laughs> can you turn it on so we can yeah. hear it run?
No way. Uh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> so it's still got AC because I used to daily it for four years. So it was like built like this, driving around four years. So I had to keep the air conditioning. So I don't know, it's a little bit different. We turn on the air conditioning, driving it. Doesn't like it as much as it does without it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we hear it? Yeah. <laughs> That is so loud. <laughs> that sounds insane. Yeah, it's got the full, uh, the full tome exhaust on it. It's really loud. So ever since I went top mount, it definitely changed the, the tone of it a lot. <laughs> it's so rowdy. Thank it you. puts my SR to shame. Honestly. No, don't say that. <laughs> what's, what's that thing do? What does it do? <laughs> he was talking about this thing. What the hell? This is the best. That's the best sounding. These are the best two cars in this whole area. Hey, can you do that again? Dude, this, this is perfect because it's not that loud from back no, there. The Tomei to make a, it straight piped all the way to the Tomei, but it keeps it quiet. It's it's way quieter than the SR for they're whatever the reason. I mean, they're both Tomei. They're, they're both straight piped to it, but you know, inline thick. But, but the noise coming out of this area yeah. that's is... A, um, so that's a precision Gen 2 dual ball bearing and we got the OCD work. Um, it's like T51 mod front housing cover on it. So, yeah. Can, can we go for a drive? Yeah, we're gonna go for a ride. Oh my God. Drivability for this, I it's, can ask for anything better. The only thing is it's got this mode two-way. Uh-huh. It's a little rough. Oh, so it goes. Oh, it, I'd rather have a Wolody watch. So this is with the clutch out. Yeah. Oh, you can't even hear, but. Yeah, it's not doing it now. It clunk, it sounds yeah, like the rear end is falling yeah. apart. Yeah. I just haven't been able to store the OEM one for not an arm and a leg. I had a 1.5. How clunky was that? Uh, and it was really clunky. Why, why don't you just get an OS Gaiken? They're the quietest. I just want to go back to, it came uh, with, the guy had a, the guy in Japan had a twin disc on here and a stock SR and then this will two-way and mm -hmm. bolt on. I'm like, yeah. What the f are you driving? Yeah. You just want to go back to stock? I just want to go back to stock. I don't even know which way. I think it's around this. Because stock is LSD and S15 still, so it, yeah. it's good. I don't I don't think it'll handle the power, though. That's so much more power. <laughs> Look at this guy, dude. Are you doing rolling shots, bro? Don't crash. Don't crash. Oh my God. You got a backup camera? Yeah. This guy's just stunting. Stunting. I, I don't even know what to say. Like the best mod you can ever do to your turbo. I need, I need this. I need this. Wait, so what? Wh why is it that it sounds like that? So they take the precision front housing and OCD works machines and they, I guess they put their inlet like the old HKS turbo and they, it, so it makes, you know, it replicates the old HKS noise. It's so defined. It makes the driving just, I don't know, just the cruising around just, you know, so much better. You don't have to be flooring all the time. And, and yeah, whatever. that's the thing. It's it's the partial throttle. Yeah. And when you're and when you're not straight pipe, you really hear, like this thing is, you know, you really hear, you get on it and you, I am falling away. What? Yeah, she gets moving. The built RV. Oh. No, it's not built. 
It's not. No, just all OEM, OEM head gasket, ARP head studs, and this little oil pump, water pump. The rest is stock. That's incredible. I can't believe it does that. And, and it's a stock un... un it's open, you have not, oh. it's, the bottom end's never been open, just, it's been open enough just to put a head gasket, you know, head studs, and then refresh all the seals and everything like that. Oh, wow. But, yeah, ethanol. It's ethanol and a lot of fuel. <laughs> what does it rev out to? That's, um, so that's calibrated just a little high. Oh, okay. Yeah, it hasn't been recalibrated yet. I need that Dakota box to kind of... Because I was thinking like, it's oh still my God, you went to you like 10,000 no, no, RPM. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Tyler, I'm speechless. You need a cool car. I, he's got, yeah, he's I got mean, a I ton guess, of cool cars. I, not enough, I guess. Cool this is <laughs> need really to build cool. build the skyline. line. Yeah. This is really cool. Jeez. She runs good, idles good. I am so blown away. I can't believe it. S15. Yeah, RB. Ryan Literal would be R proud, dude. Ryan Literal. <laughs> yeah, he'd be proud. Yes, sir. <laughs> RBs oh. have a good standing down here, yeah. too. We, we love you, Ryan. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love the 2J2, but man, this is so cool. This is for the Nissan Pierce. That's the only reason I didn't put a 2J in it, just to keep it Nissan, Nissan. This is everything that's right about car culture yeah. like this is not it's not like you're going out doing quarter mile pulls you're yeah. not doing land you know land speed racing or or, or standing mile yeah but this is just like a street car this yeah. is like a built street car and she four, gets four and everybody that knows man she gets driven all over florida yeah um i don't leave florida just because it's it's just so hard to get consistent EA5, so any further than that, we just put it on a trailer, and then, yeah. It's funny, because when we, when we do a roll race with him, he keeps up with me till like, I'm at least the top of third gear. It comes on so quick, and I'm spinning half the time. Yeah, yeah. I got to pedal to try to keep up with him. Yeah, you ready? Like every Thursday, That's shreds, amazing. and this is his brother here as well. Amazing, it's awesome. 